Alright guys, just getting on the road here. Just got the truck packed up and we're heading to Ohio. So gonna go chase the big bucks. Now we have we have big bucks here in northern PA, just not as big, that's for sure. So there are not as many big ones, we'll say that. Plus we got family out there. My wife actually went out earlier in the week. So gonna go out there and meet up with a couple of my brother-in-laws and then I'm gonna hunt up north tomorrow morning uh, towards Columbus area. And then after my morning hunt, I'll stay at my in-laws tonight. After my morning hunt, I'm gonna shoot down to the farm in Southern Ohio where I killed my buck last year. So it's like big woods, mountainous terrain. So we're gonna shoot down there and we'll be there for the next handful of days, but it's Friday. No, it's not Friday. It's Thursday, November 4th, I think. So got a long trip ahead of us, had quite a long day at work. I was up at three, so I'm gonna be tired. Got myself some dinner here and just gonna put on the miles. So I probably will get out there around midnight is what I'm thinking. So all right guys, make this really short and sweet. Beautiful, beautiful frosty morning here in Ohio. November 5th. Super pumped to be here. I'm set up in kind of a little pinch this morning. There's a funnel downstream ahead of me that I think these bucks are gonna cruise through. Got a straight east wind. And I'm right on the east side of this wood lot. Or I'm on the west side, excuse me. Wind blowing from the east, blowing right out over my scent, right over open hay field. I figure as the bucks cruise this narrow wood lot, they're gonna wanna cruise the downwind side, which is where I'm set up. So I'm right on here, I'm right on a corner here, where I think these bucks will funnel up from a different section of woods and cruise right past me because they'll wanna be on this side of this wood lot that I'm set up in. There's some good bucks in here. Should be awesome, beautiful morning. Super thankful, super stoked to be in a tree. Let's see what unfolds this morning. small five point come I mean just oops, just exactly like I was thinking they would this morning so one buck sighting so far first light we just need a big one to do that same thing I mean he came right he cruised right to the base of the tree two year old bug down there. Tell you what, they are cruising this morning. It's the second buck I've seen already.
there's a big buck. Big buck coming. Here comes a big shooter.
This is just insane. He's gonna go down right there. He's going down right there. He just crashed right on. That one did it. Guys, I just shot an old warrior. He is dead. He is dead about 10 yards from the base of my tree. Oh. I love Ohio, baby. Oh, that's unreal. I just put a second arrow in him. Oh my word, guys. Unbelievable. I don't even know what to say. That is a big, heavy buck. I did not hit him where I was aiming. I don't even know how that happened. Oh, I've never had to watch him die like that. Never had one go down so quick right at the base of my tree. Man, I'm shaking. <laughs> Unreal. <gasps> Unbelievable. Man, that is like the seventh buck I've seen this morning. <sighs> it's so beautiful out. Man, you gotta love November in the rut. All right, let's try this again. I have calmed down a little bit. I'm not shaking uncontrollably now. So yeah, this buck that I shot came from behind me. And I, I'm looking and I'm, I heard something. I look behind, see a flash of rack through this beautiful sunlight and timber behind me. 
and uh, this thing's running hot, like nose to the ground, like chasing, except there's nothing to chase. It was just like really cruising hard. Finally get on him with the camera. He goes up in there a little bit, mills around with another buck, and then just starts coming, like, he started coming my way a little bit, and I was like, oh, stink, this thing might actually come down here. I forgot my grunt call. Oh, this is dumb. But when he went up there, before I, st I don't know if I was videoing or not, I, I have my rattle pack in my pocket, and I rubbed it together, and just sounded like there was a couple bucks clanking down here, tickling their antlers together. I don't know if that's what did it or not, but he started coming my way right down this creek and I had looked away to turn the GoPro on and then I could hear him coming as I wasn't watching I turned back around and the sucker had like closed the distance almost in half and he was in bow range so I just zoomed the camera out. I didn't know where he was he was behind this big whatever that big tree is he's behind this big tree I could see his shadow in the leaves on the ground and I'm like holy smokes he's close and he pops out right in this little creek drainage thing and it's walking straight at me so I just zoomed the camera out and drew because I figured he would either come right down and I'd shoot him at 10 yards right here or I could shoot him in the chest here at like 15 or he would pop up and out and that's that's what he did he popped out at like 20 yards I stopped him and I I did not hit him where I was aiming I, I thought oh my word like in my head right before I shot I thought piece of cake like he just turned broadside at 20, he's toast. And I shot and the arrow went like high and back. But I clipped that artery that runs right under the spine. Immediately I saw blood and he ran like, he ran like 15 yards and he's standing at 10 yards. And you can see that in the video. And uh, I could see blood just pouring out of him. And I didn't want to move because I thought he would look up at me and just really take off running. And he fell over right there. I thought he crashed, then he stood back up, so I quick grabbed another arrow, boom, hit him again. That one I drove right down through. And he lays at 10 yards, and he's a slob. All right, guys, just climbed out of the tree, like literally stepped, I'm at the, here's the stand, there's the tree. <laughs> he's literally about Oh, six yards, I think. Six, seven yards. Let's go check him out. Oh, he's just heavy, man. Oh, my word, you can smell the rut. Look at that. Heavy, gnarly buck. Oh, what a gorgeous buck, man. That is an old deer. Old deer. Oh, look at the mass, character points. Oh, that is sweet. Oh, look at that point coming off. Oh, man. Oh, it just, I tell you, man, just don't deserve it. Yes. I think my wife just pulled in. I, she's a couple hundred yards. I heard gravel popping back up there at the barn. There's a rub right here. Oh, gorgeous morning. He literally has frost all over his antlers. Oh, man. All right, guys. Here he is. Big, old, mature buck in Ohio. I don't know. I'm really excited to look at the teeth on him and stuff. And I plan on sending a tooth out because he is just old, massive missing half of his ear here his foot's all jacked up he's got no tail scars on his neck so the plan worked really well this morning we had an east wind blowing through this wood lot and uh had this was the sixth buck that came cruising by and uh worked really good for my setup shot him at 20. you saw the whole thing and he he died at about six or seven yards from the tree had to put another one in him the shot I, I put on him was not where I was aiming. I kind of got lucky. I'm not sure what I did in the excitement. I must have I must have jerked or something because I hit this artery back. Like I think it runs right under the spine, and uh, I hit that artery but bled out. I mean, instantly he went down in literally like 20 seconds, and I did put another arrow in him. But couldn't be more thankful, and uh, 
it's just awesome to be out here God's creation enjoying uh, the blessings we get to have out here super pumped super thankful on to the next one